Hey folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Now that we've had a drink and a bite to eat, we can continue on with our tale. We had met up with Khadgar and he had teleported us back to Draenor, which is what Outland used to be. Yes, we had gone back in time. He, he, he would come along, he would say, ready for work, and then job done. It was from a game. I cannot remember what game it was from, but I've definitely seen that in a game somewhere. I don't know what game it is. It really bugs me that I don't remember what game that is, but I know it came from a game somewhere. Now, where's our dude? He's over here. Yeah. My dude, Justin Timberlord. <laughs> I just got that. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit slow. Just Justin Timberlord and um, uh, End Swing. Oh, I can't believe. I, I knew I knew there was something there last time I looked at him. I knew there was something there, and I just sort of overlooked it just a little tiny bit. But there it all is. It suddenly all clicked into place. We got Justin Tim... Justin Tim... Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I really love this game. It's amazing. Right. Did you harvest that timber sample yet? <laughs> We haven't even scratched the surface when it comes to overkill. It looks like this group will serve you well, sir. Medium-sized trees across Draenor are now at your mercy. That means more timber per tree. See you later. Ideal. That's what we want. More timber per tree. So we're going to go like this, Swift Green Griffin, and we're going to race off over this way. So that is those. All done. And I'm going to go back in this way, like this. And there were a few of them that we couldn't get, weren't there? There were some that we weren't able to go and do yet. So the Enchanter's Study right there, I can upgrade that one. That one's got the upgrade available to it right now. I'm going to wait and we'll do that one later. Then you've got the Stables over here. We've got an upgrade on that one. And if I mouse over the increased Drenor mount speed by 20%, that would actually be a really good one to have. Um, we've already now got no longer get dazed while enemy uh, by enemies. Um, allows you to remain mounted while interacting with objects in outdoor Drenor zones. Doesn't allow you to stay mounted whilst mining, unfortunately, but it does allow everything else, which is pretty good. Um, so, yeah, we will upgrade the stables. I'll put that bad boy going right there. And then we've got the mage tower. I'm leaving that one until I've got some stones. I'd like to be able to at least do the first few bits. Uh, unlocks access to a second ogre way gate for a total of two. Uh, this one over here, the Enchanter's Study, right there, uh, unlocks enchanting missions and allows up to 21 work orders at any one time. There's no real benefit to us doing that at the moment either. That one is already level 3. This one is not level 3 yet, and I cannot get that one because I don't have the plan for it. The Lumber Mill, I need to get the plan for the Lumber Mill, and I need to get the plan for the fishing shack and also the herb garden engineering works is already level three lumber mill herb garden and fishing shack we want Please. to upgrade and those require particular quests to have been done don't they so if we go through this way uh fishing shack level two enchanter study level three already i already know that one so we will get that one done at some point soon and then we will go here, storehouse level 3, enables access to an ethereal trader for void storage, and transmogrification to increase the total number. You've got to do the got my mind on my drain or money achievement to get that one. Barn level 3 allows you to capture elite beasts to harvest with savage blood. We don't really mind about that one. We've got the one that's doing the food, which is good. And then you get the Master Trapper one. Um, lumber mill level 3, achievement upgrading the mill. We do want that one. So upgrading the mill is one that we want. And uh, there. Drenor Seed Collector. Drenic Seed Collector. Drenor Angler. And we already looked. I did already check these, I think. It's under... Uh, they're not all under there. We've got Professions right here and Fishing. And then the Drenor Fishing one. 
Down here somewhere. Drenor Angler. No. It's not that one. Oh, is yeah, it is. It is that one. Yes, the fishing tank level three. We've got to get 100 of every single large fish to be able to do that. Right? That is actually a thing. We've got to get 100 of each of them. Which is just 100% pure insanity. I haven't got any fire ammonites yet. I think I've got to go and get those as... Pretty sure that's the, one of the things that we've got to go and do. Yeah, fire ammonites. That's the one that's in Frostfire. So, yeah, that one's going to take a long time. That one's going to take a long while to do. Expansion features. Uh, Draenor Garrison. I think the seeds one is in here, wasn't it? Anyway, we, we had to get, like, 500 seeds. And, oh, there, upgrading the mill. 75 work orders at Lumber Mill. Complete the quest listed below. Legacy of the Ancients. We've done one work order so far at the mill. Right. We've got a little bit of work that we need to do with that. We will place more work orders. Any, the, the, we don't need to worry about that now. We can't do any more upgrades at the moment. So, we again, we, we, we won't worry about it. All we will do is we will do this. We will run over here. We can... That one's already upgrading. That's going to give us our increased mounted speed. And we're going to go over here to Greetings. work orders with Justin Timberlake. Timberlord, sorry. Sorry. Slip the tongue. Don't want to get copyright coming after me, although I don't imagine he's copyrighted his own name. Right, so we got five timber ones at the moment, and we can have 19 in total. So we need to keep an eye out for a few trees and stuff as we go around. Then we've got these right here. I have got a few seeds, and we've got some more Apexus crystals. And that should have given Fiona a little bit of a level up, because she works here as well. And that's going to help. So we get Drenic seeds. I need seeds. to get closer. I don't know how many Drenic Seeds we've had. But there's definitely one... Well, actually, you can search. I can search here. If I go back to Summary and I go like that, and I go Seed, Drenic Seed Collector. Right there, 294. So we've only got 206 to go. Let's just see if that is actually correct. I do that there. 297. Yes. That is correct. So, I mean, yeah, it's gonna it does take a little bit of time. You do have to keep on going with this and, and slowly work your way around. But we will eventually be able to get the Herb Garden Level 3, which will give us more herbs. And then you get the Apexes Crystals and all of those sorts of things from it. Um, so it's, it's not like a huge bonus from it, but if there is a bit of a bonus. It does help. I'm not quite sure why what benefit we get from having her working here. I'm sure there is some benefit what do you somewhere. Offer? I don't want what? you to come no out of control with me. No, no tips. Herbalism. And more herbalism. It's uh, The one thing that I do like about this is the fact that you're able to harvest herbs that you and you Hello. wouldn't normally be able to do it. And I think that's the reason that they got rid of this whole Zero. idea in future expansions, because they thought that it sort of imbalanced the game slightly, um, twisted things against the gathering professions, because everybody was able to do the gathering, and they sort of figured that that wasn't quite so good after all. We're going to look in here, we get some more iron ores and more apexes crystals and all of that malarkey, and I'm going to come into there, and then I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to drink a couple of coffees. I don't have another uh, mining pick. Unfortunately, but that's fine. This the, the the blue quality, no green quality mining picks. They're the ones that I want. As soon as I get a little bit more coffee in here, I might go for. Ooh, we're level 101 already. So we're focusing most of our attention with this character here on Drenor. We're going to finish the Grand bit. We're doing a whole load of stuff with our garrison that we're not going to be doing with future characters. Um, and we're really focusing on a load of Draenor items and things and stuff like that. Uh, in the future, though, I'm going to be doing less stuff with uh, Draenor. So I'll be... And, and I'll focus... I, I think we... Didn't we skip... Yeah, we skipped Pandaria altogether. We'll be doing Pandaria. We're going to do a lot of focus on that. And we'll spend a lot more time doing Legion content as well with our next character, whichever one that might be. And and so on. So we, we are going to be able to, at least definitely with two characters, possibly even with three, 
never have to repeat the same quest. Well, there, obviously there's going to be the very occasional bit. Now, I'm going to use that one there, and I'm going to use uh, another coffee as well. Um, we've got a few bits and pieces, like there's a few quests here and there that we will have to repeat. There's no doubt that we will have to repeat the odd quest here and there, but most of them we will not. Most of the content that we cover with two characters will be completely unique content that we won't have to repeat. And I, when you first come to this continent, we'll have to do the opening sequences here in this continent, and that's going to be stuff that will be repeated. But once we've done that opening sequence, then that's it. That's, that's everything dealt with, and you don't need to do it. You don't need to do it again. And then we can start working on some different content. We will move to Gorgrond, which we haven't done at all with this one. Because we've done here, and we've done... Uh, we're over in the Grand, so we'll do Gorgrond, and that will probably be enough for us in this zone. Um, so we may be able to do that three times. We may be able to do three characters through all of the expansions. The only one that we may struggle with is the newest expansion. We may struggle to have completely unique content on that one. But, I mean, it's been such a very long time since I did that content anyway. And I did it all on Frith. I didn't do any of it on this one. And we will work on a different continent anyway, for those of you who watched my series. Um, we should have all new content there as well. Well, mostly new content. Now, let's go for a hop, skip and a jump up through here. We've got two minutes left on our coffee. So, we're doing okay with coffee at the moment. Yeah, grab that one. I've got three cups of coffee sitting in my bags at the moment as well, which is pretty cool. And uh, no more here. I haven't got any more mining things, like any more mining carts. Oh, there's one more down there. We've had several rich mining nodes in here, so we've, we have gathered a surprising amount of resources there. And, and mostly, like, with the surprising amount of resources that we've got... <gasps> Ooh, nice. Another preserved mining pick. That's good. That's good. That makes a big difference to the, the mining speed. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Um, mostly, we, we've got a nice lot of draining stone. we got 55, so that's 11 work orders I'm going to be able to drop down with that. I'll move that one over there. But I've only got three cups of coffee. Those three cups of coffee are going to have to last us next time. It's a bit of a shame. Um, no, never mind. It'll be fine. We'll use two, and then we'll save some. And I'm going to go to you and create all. So there's 11 work orders done there. And that's everything that we want to do in the garrison for a minute. And we're going to go from here. We've got the fishing quest that we need to do over there, which we've yet to complete. And then I got this quest down here for this guy. Hey there. I want to place a work order. Your first enchanting work order. Oh, wait. See you later. Chanting work order started. Have I got the what materials for, for it? No, I don't. I don't yet have it. I don't have, have the Dranic Dust. I need two more Dranic Dust. In order to get that, I need to disenchant some greens. Oh, that's what I was doing. I was waiting to level up and then see if the level up would give us more material. But we'd also like to assign a follower here, and I was hoping that that might also work. Yes, I would like to continue, and we're going to go with that one. 13 gold, one Drenic Dust. Seriously? It's so not worth it. So not worth it at all. I mean, I want to complete the quest, but I, I really don't think that it is worth it at all, because that's worth about a gold on the auction house. Maybe one gold. I've just turned 13 gold into one. Greetings. And yeah, I know I've got a fair bit of money. I'm currently running around with three grand, but um, honestly... Right, urgently needed at the Iron Docks. That is the quest that we want to do for our king, who's currently in our garrison. We're going to fly all the way to northern Gorgrond. Once we've done this quest, I got... Oh, Ogre Waystones there. We, we need to get the Ogre Waystones. We're going all the way up here. There is where we're going. We need a shipwright. And, and I need to go into Frostfire Ridge, and I need to do a bit of fishing in there to get the fire ammonites. And then we'll be able to have our Ogre Waygate. I'm thinking that an Ogre Waygate... Up into Gorgrond would probably be the best. That's, that's probably the furthest distance that we've got to go. So setting one up up here to start with would likely be our best spot. Does it even have a place to do it? We've got one that we can put over there. Maybe I need to put it there. Here is the Iron Docks. 
Down we go. Clearing the docks. Bonus objective. Look at it. We are a long way from home up here. Anyway, what we want to do is we want to go and do this quest. We want to go and turn in over here to Exarch Nael. We must learn the secrets of Draenor. Commander, I was told to expect you. The situation here is chaos. My Rangari have had this place under surveillance since your original assault. It's come back to life in recent weeks, as the remnants of the Iron Horde flee to Tanan under Gul'dan's orders. My scouts have learned something that might interest you. Several orcs have spoken out since Gul'dan assumed control. Some were taken prisoner. Among them is an engineering prodigy, Solog Ruark, the Iron Shipwright. He designed these docks as well as the great dreadnoughts of the orcish fleet. If my scouts are right, he's in that prison train as we speak, and he may be ready to defect. Gather explosives and meet Ural at the train to the southeast. Know your enemy. Uh, well, that sounds simple enough. Gather a few of them up and off we go. What are you? You're an iron transport just sort of uh, wandering around. Okay, what we've got is we've got this one, but we've also got a clearing at the docks. Disrupt the Iron Horde excavation, uh, evacuation. 1500 XP, 200 garrison resources, and 15 gold. So it's not going to hurt us to get that as well while we're at it. In the slightest. So here we go with this. I don't know what that is. I'm sure it's something useful. But anyway, Ogre Waystones. All of these things are now level 100. So in theory, we should be able to use some of these. And we should be able to get some of the uh, Ogre Waystones from some of these characters. But I don't know. It might be the ones that are default at level 100, even when you're not level 100. So I, I, I've genuinely no idea about that particular point. We'll have to wait and see. You over there. I'm not going to be able to do anything to you, am I? So let's just get rid of this one I'm here a second green. first. And then go... Nope. Go with that one there. It's these guys that shoot guns are really, really irritating because you cannot take them down. Like, well, not in, like, big groups. And I'm not designed for single characters. Uh, I'm designed for groups. I'm designed for taking down large groups. Iron Dock Hand over here. I need to find some... Oh, there's the explosives. I can see them marked on the map. Easy enough. Um, what's that? The, uh, the, uh, the Ogron Lifter over there. How can I take him down? Iron Siege Ram. Let me do that a minute. I want to take him... Ooh, whoa. Whoa, dude. Let's do that. Well, I'm about to find out if I can take him down. Sabotage that one there. Right, well, I got that, and that's given us some extra boost on here. I'm about to find out if I can do anything with this guy. Am I able to take him down or not? Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Sometimes you haven't got any chance whatsoever. Other times you do. Other times it does actually work out all right. Um, but what is this? Oh, it's down on this. Critical strike, the rune of power. Critical strike chance increased by 100%. I don't know where that's come from. I don't know why I'm currently getting that, but yeah, I'll go with that. I do need to heal up and... It's too far I... away. Oh, okay. Well, if you're pulling me over to you, these guys who have the... Um... Yeah, the, these guys who have the, the, the ranged attacks, if they pull me over to them, that's, that's fantastic. That means that I don't actually have to worry too much about them. Um, I can do that there and then go like that. Um, and keep this one down on the ground underneath them. Move forward a little bit. Might be an idea to just focus on... If I focus my fire on these guys just for a little bit, and I can take them down a bit. If, if I remove those, then I can move back to that Ogron Lifter, because it's... I don't they, they seem to be slightly tougher than I first thought. And it's taking a bit to take him out. Right, there we got that guy there. I can't interrupt. I can't... Uh, my, my interrupt thing doesn't really work with that, so... Uh, that's fine. We'll just make sure we stay healed. Have any other big boosts I can put on? Blinding light if it's dazzling light. Um, that's, that's a handy one to have. 
Honestly, I don't think it's going to make a big difference to us, so we'll just kind of keep with what we got. Now, i got 10 seconds to go. I'm just going to move away from that over there. That's my pet there, and a Grand Wolf. There, right. Now I can do both of those, and that's going to take me up to full health. No, pretty much. Close enough. It's close enough for my liking. And you've got just 3,000 health left, so I can take him down. We're 20% on Disrupt the Iron Horde docks. That's another 6%. Honestly, I'm not sure that was worth the effort. <laughs> I really don't think that was worth the effort at all. Let's get rid of these two a second. And there we've got this one. And Oh, nice. Right. That's coming from somewhere. I need to... I'm pretty sure we must have a trinket that's doing that. That's got to be a trinket that's making us do that. Let me let me go Skyborn a second and, and just see what that's about. There, yeah, i got Iron Rylak thing there. Uh, bright coin. Your attacks for chance to grant you 88 armor. Equip your harmful ability to chance to summon a wolf. No. Mark of the Shattered Hand. I don't think the mark of the shattered hand is the one. So what's causing that thing to appear on the ground with me? Have I got a piece of armor that's doing that? Is it an ability that I've got? I have absolutely no idea why it's appearing. I mean, it, it, the fact that it is appearing is great. It's, it's absolutely fantastic, and I, I, I do like it. It's quite a handy little trick to have. But I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know why we're getting it. And it would be kind of handy to know, because then I maybe I'd be able to sort of um, decide, you know, that maybe there's some more stuff that I could do about it. Maybe there's, there's ways that I could use it and, and get it, you know, try and um, trigger it automatically. Whether whether I can, whether that's a thing I could do, I, I, I don't really know. Uh, I'm, I'm over here because I want to get that one. I want to take that one down. Let me just very quickly remove this iron dock hand here. I oh, very quickly, he says. I, I can never really do very quickly. Oh, very quickly is not really an option for me when it comes to combat because of the fact that I'm multiple targets. Tank. Wow, that was a noisy fella. All right, 42%. So I've, I've not previously done these things, but uh, I am this time right. There's the explosives. There's an Ogron lifter right there, which is... Cause me a bit of an issue, I think. So maybe if I head over this, ah, that, that's that's probably a little bit better, right? I got a dock hand and a grunt right there, and ah, I got this away. here, which I will make full use of like this. Definitely helps. So what's that? Critical strike chance is increased. I need to get closer. A rune of power. How am I putting a rune of, of power on the ground? This is the bit that doesn't really make sense to me. I'm, I, I didn't think that I could do Rune of Power. I thought that those runes were like a Death Knight thing. I need or to maybe, closer. maybe it's one of them that's doing it. Maybe I'm not doing it at all. Maybe it's nothing to do with me. It's, it's, it's absolutely no concern of mine whatsoever. I'm just benefiting something that the enemy is putting down. That does actually make sense because I've, I've had things like that plenty of <laughs> times before. Right, let's grab. We still haven't had any Ogre Waystones. I would like some. Iron Seed Oh, that is a noisy contraption. Now, I want to go... I actually want to go over this side. Where is this? Ah, oh, there's, there's... There it is. It's in here. Right, you. I want a little word for you. And then I need to do that. The detonator. I, I need that. And then i got to go and get... There's another bit. I need um, explosive charges and the detonator. i, I got to have both. Let's deal with you. There, right, you're done. There, I need Twilight Wasp, Parched Lizard, Axe Beak, Hatchling, Mud Calf, and a Wood Wasp. Take that one out there. Detonator, thank you very much. I'm tempted to go and get that cockroach, actually. It's there. It's, it's just kind of waiting for me to go and take it. Waiting for me to help myself. Now, I got that, and I got that, but it's this Ogron lifter that's in the way. It's going to take me a long time to beat him back out of the way. And that's the bit that I'm not liking. Is that those are... It took me quite a while to get through him last time. Oh, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to hope Let's that I can do this away. without having to worry about it. Let's do that. I drop these in. 
Uh, the Iron Dock hand over there is definitely going to come in and join the fun. Like this, there, there's uh, that one. I've got the Iron Rear Guard right here. I'll take him out. There, and everything that I need to do. i got a Rylak thing going above me, but he's not bothering me at the moment. So we may better do this without interfering with that Ogron that's right beside us, because, I mean, he... he it's not a big benefit from doing this. Uh, nice. Okay, we managed to do that one all right. Then we're going to come over here, and we've got a wharf rat right there. I just want to see if we got anything that we can upgrade to. That is a jungle beak, which we don't have, but it's only a white quality, so I'm not interested. Very well. Goodbye. I've actually only got two pets. I need to um, revitalize my pets. Anything else? Let me, let me let me go up in the air a second, and let me go to collections right there, and then oh, I know why it looks different. Yeah, and then I want to do that. Are you? Well, what? Oh, throwing everything at me! Right. Well, I've got I've picked up the items that I need for this um, quest, and then we're sixty four percent done at the moment. I'm going to come I'm down here and take out this iron dock hand right there. Um, I got the the rear guard dude over there who I will also take out. So I think these are what two percent each, and it's not going to take me long to take these out. And then I can also bust the iron siege ram right there. Should get us a little bit more towards this objective. And you've got to complete objectives for some of the... There's achievements where you've got to complete these objectives. And they do genuinely make a difference to it. Um, like the, these achievements when you get... I think actually one of them is... you got to you got to complete some objectives. You're very noisy. you got to complete a certain number of objectives in order to be able to get... Um, flying in Draenor. So I, I don't know if it's like one of every single type of objective that's available and you've got to go and complete them all or if it's just a set number of objectives of, of these um these like quest zones zone zone quests quest zones zone quests um, that would be one they are but uh yeah you, you get the general idea you, you've got to do quite a few of them in order to be able to unlock uh flying now, I'm still thinking at the moment that I'm not going to bother fully unlocking flying in Legion zones before I go there. We will do that one sort of as it is, and then as I'm, I'm not going to worry about it with this character. This character is not going to spend all that long in the Legion zones. But what I may do is my next character, I might stay in the Legion zones then, and we go right through and we do all of the Legion zones. And we do unlocking flying in the Legion zones with my next character. That could be an interesting thing to go and do, I think. And um, then obviously we'd have the, the final zones as well. But I like the idea of doing it without having flying to start with, just because it sort of shows more what um, it would actually have been about. It, it shows more about what we would actually um, you do when the, the, the stuff first opens up. When you first get that expansion, right? There's eighty-four percent done there. Where am I supposed? Oh, I'm. I'm supposed to go over this way. I'm supposed to meet them over there. Right. Well, as I'm supposed to meet them over there, I'm not. I'm not going to worry about meeting them over there at the moment. I'm just going to very quickly ooh, stand on that one there. Nice. There we go. Get that one there, and I just. I've only got to hit him. There, look, see, a couple of times, and I'm done. Nice. Okay. I got 80... Wait, what? 86%. Did what? Didn't that last one give me anything? What happens if I take these out? Oh. Well, we're going to have to put a stop to it now for a little while, folks, because I'm getting a bit parched. I'm also a bit peckish. So I'm going to have a bite to eat and a little bit to drink, and then we can continue onwards. In the meantime, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.